Let's begin with a cruise ship quarantined in Japan. More Filipinos on that vessel have tested positive for COVID-19. 16 were confirmed just over the weekend. Maricel Halili with this report. While there has been no addition to cases of the coronavirus disease or COVID-19 in the country, the same cannot be said of overseas Filipino workers. The Foreign Affairs Department has tallied 28 OFW infected with the virus, one in the United Arab Emirates, and 27 were on board the MV Diamond Princess, a cruise ship currently docked in Japan. Despite the increasing number of cases aboard the vessel, the government still has yet to finalize the evacuation plan for the Filipino crew members. Other countries, like the United States and Canada, have already started evacuating their citizens from the cruise ship. But the DFA says the government is still waiting for the recommendation from the technical working group of the Interagency Task Force. So we will await uh, the recommendations of the technical working group um, that have uh, more specific details with regard to the um, conditions and maybe uh, labor requirements uh, or immigration requirements uh, before they can be sent home. Rhea, daughter of one of the Filipino crews on board a cruise ship, cannot hide her concern. Siyempre, yung, yung mental distress na nararanasan po doon na magkakahalubilan naman kayo. Kayo rin po nakapronta bilang nasa accommodation department. Kaya po naka, natatakot rin po. If approved by the Interagency Task Force, the evacuation of OFWs may possibly be done after the quarantine period in Japan on February 19. The government also has to draft guidelines, especially for those who are already confined for COVID-19. I guess would depend on, on particular uh, details, like for the 26 who are currently in the hospital, um, whether they can leave right immediately is, is a, a one question. Apart from those who already tested positive, officials are also deliberating on how to evacuate the over 500 Filipinos on board a cruise ship. For News 5, Maricel Halili, we are One News. On Sunday, 70 more people on the cruise ship tested positive for COVID-19, bringing the total number of cases on board to 355. The vessel has more cases than most nations. It, in fact, has confirmed the most number of COVID-19 infections outside of China. On Philippine soil, there are now 521 persons under investigation for COVID-19. 171 of them have been admitted and quarantined in various hospitals. At the same time, 453 patients being monitored have tested negative for COVID-19. Health Assistant Secretary Dr. Maria Rosario Vergeri said that 350 others have already been discharged. That includes the two Chinese nationals who tested positive but have since recovered. A decline in the number of confined PUIs is being attributed to a better surveillance system and case management by the DOH. For all these developments, Education Secretary Leonor Briones says many February school activities have been rescheduled for March and April as a precautionary measure. Concerned agencies are also expected to release guidelines on holding public events like graduation ceremonies. Probably that will have to be worked out in greater detail with the Department of Health. Yes. Yung mga precautions which have to be taken because really uh, DepEd events uh, attract uh, big uh, audiences and crowds. The Department of Foreign Affairs itself is discouraging its personnel from taking non-essential travel to countries affected by the coronavirus. Government has also suspended training abroad. With COVID-19 disrupting worldwide travel, the Philippine tourism sector is shifting gears to try to drive domestic tourism. And the palace believes President Duterte himself can help encourage Filipinos to discover more of what the Philippines has to offer. The president's spokesman, Salvador Panelo, says Mr. Duterte can help boost domestic tourism because he has always been a magnet for Filipinos. The president is expected to visit some of the main tourist destinations in the country, including Boracay, Cebu, and Bohol. Oh, I think so, yes. Uh, he's a magnet, eh? He's always a magnet. His presence attracts people from attending an event. Some of W's home from Hong Kong have had a longer holiday than they intended thanks to travel restrictions compelled by COVID-19. 
With each day of a travel ban to China and its territories, however, they fret that they are drawing closer to losing their jobs. Gerard de la Peña has the story. Overseas Filipino workers based in Hong Kong who are currently in the country are worried. They fear that overstaying here due to the travel ban might cost them their jobs. 11F, a domestic helper, said her visa is about to expire. Kagaya po namin na contractual lang po, nanganganib po ang aming trabaho na kami po ay ma-terminate dahil po hindi po kami makabalik sa takdang araw po ng balik po namin sa aming employer. Tess, an employee in Hong Kong, was allowed to work from home, but she doesn't know for how long. Ang problema dun ay gano katagal yung sinasabi nilang work at home, kasi hindi naman yon panghabang buhay o matagalan na yaaalaw ka ng isang profit-oriented company na magtrabaho sa bahay, kasi may limitasyon yon. Feliza, also an OFW in Hong Kong, said it's more expensive to start over again in the country. Mag-uumpisa tayo sa zero. Pag-umpisa pa lang po natin ang panibagong pag-apply, madugo na po yan sa bursa. Foreign Affairs Secretary Teddy Boy Loxin in a tweet said domestic workers should be allowed to return to the Asian financial hub, noting that Hong Kong has better facilities to contain the virus. He promised to reconsider lifting the travel ban in Hong Kong in two weeks' time. Some OFWs, however, are not in favor of proposals, forcing them to sign a waiver when they go back to Hong Kong. Parang tinatanggalan mo ng responsibilidad ang gobyerno doon sa kanyang... Uh, pag uh, pagbibigay ng kal um, ng uh, responsibilidad sa mga sa mga OFWs, sa mga residente at sa mga Pilipino na lalalabas. Communication Secretary Martin Andanar says the Macau ban might also be lifted like in Taiwan's case. But the health department and key government agencies still have to assess protocols that Macau has put in place to contain the disease. For News 5, Gerard de la Peña. We are One News. To give us the latest figures on COVID-19, Riza Diaz is live in the newsroom. Riza? Robbie, as of Monday, um, 7.43, February 17, Manila time, we are looking at 71,811 confirmed cases of NCOVID um, virus around the world. Still, most of which are coming from mainland China, followed by the quarantined, um, the quarantined ship MV Diamond Princess in Japan, which has 369 confirmed cases. Singapore is also in the top three, Japan and Hong Kong. Still in the Philippines, we still have three confirmed cases. Now, as for fatalities, we are looking at 1,775 um, deaths so far. In the Philippines, we still have one, but already, um, or rather most of that, again, is coming from the province of Hubei, and five were recorded outside of China. Speaking of which, Taiwan and France have already recorded uh, their latest, or added to that latest number. This casualty in France makes it the first ever death case recorded in Europe, as well as outside in Asia. Meanwhile, after being turned away by Asian and Pacific governments due to the COVID-19 scare, cruise ship MS Westernham anchors off the coast of Cambodia, its operator, Holland America Lines says none of its more than 2,200 passengers and crew have tested positive for, for COVID-19. However, Cambodian health officials will still be conducting a retest on all crews and passengers before allowing the ship to dock at the main port. Robbie. Thank you, Riza.